Yo, hello everyone. As a photographer, having a visual, stunning and professionally designed website is crucial for showcasing your work and attracting clients. In this video, we will walk you through the process of creating a WordPress website specifically tailored for photographers, from selecting the perfect photography theme and plugins and much more. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First thing guys, as you can see, go ahead and open your WordPress website dashboard. Right from there, I will need you to install a couple plugins before we start this video. The plugins that you are going to need are plugins to actually make our WordPress better in terms of search engine, of appearance, and some forms. So as a photographer, what do you think you will need in your website? Maybe you will need a form so people can actually uh, hire you as a photographer which is pretty important for you to make a career through this website and make money through it as well. If you are not interested in money, no problem. Forms can help you to actually upgrade your website and make it much better. There is other things to add to your website, for example, like Elementor, which is a plugin that helps you design the whole website from scratch. And all these plugins are going to be very important for you. And the last plugin that we are going to talk about, or two plugins actually, there is SEO, which optimizes the search engine rank of your website. And WordPress all-in-one migration, which helps you import and export and save backups of your website so you never lose the progress. So let's get started. The first thing, go to plugins, click on add new, and then install all the plugins that I have mentioned. Elementor, as you can see, here it is, it will be here. And the next thing is a WordPress form or Ninja form, it is completely up to you. And I guess we're gonna go also with um, SEO. And finally, we are going to go with the forms, uh, WordPress form, or finally, the second thing that we are going to go for is Word WordPress migration. So, WordPress all in one. And here it is, all in one. Uh, so these two plugins that you can go for, it is all completely up to you. Uh, here it is, install now. And then when it is fully installed, you can just simply click on activate. And that's how you have successfully added the necessary plugins. There will be some plugins in the upcoming stage. Now let's keep up with them one by one. So let's go to appearance. Here we will need to actually add a theme to our website. So this is how it looks like. At the moment, we will need to add kind of like um, a theme that will have access to it and we will be able to add images like, I will show you real quick here. So if I search here for photographer themes or photographer, add new, sorry guys, click on add new first and then search for photographer. Here, they will show you a bunch of sites. So all of these are samples of websites that you can use. So you can go for whatever template you like. So in our case, I'm going to go for stock photos and install it. It is pretty insane that you have stock photos in here. So we can actually make benefits of this template. So here, when it is fully installed, click on active. And once it is activated, as you can see, let's check if there is any plugins that comes with it. So let's wait until it is fully activated and the files shall be imported, uh, imported I mean, and everything shall be merged with our files. So the template of our website shall be changed. It's going to take a while to actually do that, but no problem. It will be fixed in a couple minutes maximum. So I will be back right after it is fully changed. So now, thank you, much grateful for your choosing our stock photos. Click here so we can give you everything. So now, here are some free theme informations, premium theme informations, and everything about the theme. Now here, if you'd like to connect, uh, sorry guys, 
if you'd like to check if there is any plugin that is necessary for your own template, it will be shown in here in the top of your dashboard or you can go to here to update and check for it as well. So these two pages are all connected together. Now let's check everything is good. We will have to update here Elementor, of course, and MailChimp if you'd like to. Now, when you are done, let's go to a page. So first we're gonna go to a page and create a new page, which is gonna be for photos. So add new and let's add a photo image. So let's go to here, edit with Elementor. Uh, let's just click here, update in field. Uh, let me just go back because I didn't fully update it. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, as I said, you have to update Elementor in case you didn't update it. So I'm going to do so real quick by clicking on Update and Update Elementor through here. So Update Plugins, Update it, and thanks. Uh, oh, I didn't update Elementor. It wasn't Elementor. Um, let's go back. So let's check back in a minute. So it will be updated in a couple seconds, and then I will be right back to you guys. So back to you guys. So through here, you can actually add the page. So here, make us name it photo, photo page. So photos. Here, we're going to start adding some blocks. So here, first, I'm going to add columns, which will separate the page on three columns. So here we go. In this column, I'm going to add gallery or image. So let's add first gallery. A gallery is basically multiple images. So I'm going first with these three images, open and add them. Here the same, I'm not going to choose here gallery. I'm going to add images, upload from library. And here I'm going to choose one image, for example, this one. And so go on. So you can just keep doing that until you feel like you have fully filled this with images. Now click on publish, publish it, and let's see how it looks like in our WordPress website. So view page. Of course, the template has been changed and the images are going to look like this. Here you can find all images, etc. Everything here, by the way, guys, is fully customized. So you can customize everything in here through the templates uh, widget and settings so you can go through this and add labels to these images so they can match the labels that are in here and you will have the best kind of photos now as you can see i have added gallery here and here i have added single image but in case you have added single image single image single image you will have a couple of images that are all around the website they have the same size organized and pretty attracting of course you can even edit the page like so go to here to customize and start making kind of uh add some kind of menus add the footer change literally everything about your wordpress website even here you can uh, go to active theme you can change the theme right from here directly if you don't like it as you might see here uh, for the theme settings here you might find for example uh post setting choices of sections so section title here the header here the theme layout settings so as you can see here the color font uh, mobile media option and here additional woocommerce options if you have woocommerce so this is how the website is actually going to look like if you have added so many images into it and yeah guys that's how you can choose and make the correct wordpress website for photographer all you have to do is make it full of images and it will be 100 percent attracting to people so yeah guys that was completely it make sure to remove all the blogs pages from the website and the widget because they're gonna be look so ugly on the website so it is a photographer website so don't forget to do that as well so yeah, guys that was completely it thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial